The auto glass industry finds itself in an interesting predicament regarding OEM manufactured glass and aftermarket glass. We're going to find out why next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. When you have to install new glass, what's the right choice? With new advanced 8S features using forward-facing cameras or FFC mounted to the glass, the tolerance required of the glass and its components to be correct for proper function is paramount in deciding which glass to use. The discussion has taken on a new twist. With 8S features, calibrations have become a common procedure to validate that repairs were completed correctly, cameras and or radar components have been reinstalled correctly, and the 8S system is functioning correctly. Vehicle manufacturers have provided the industry with instructions and documentation on how to perform the repairs and calibrations as to what, where, when, and how, including what parts should be used. Many vehicle manufacturers have statements on OE glass for replacement of windshields. Then of course, there's the real world of cost cutting to save money. The cost of windshield replacements in the US has risen dramatically when you add the calibration of vehicles ADAS to that windshield replacement cost when you add the difference in pricing between the OE auto glass and auto glass purchased through the aftermarket, you see the cost rise even higher. Not only is FFC camera bracket placement critical, so too is the clarity or quality of the glass. Imagine watching a football game today that is not in high definition or reading a book where you can't read the text without reading glasses to make things clear. The cameras used today are as sensitive as your eyes, if not more so to see clearly through the windshield for proper operation and object detection. Even the slightest blurred lens or windshield can cause FFC calibration failures. This occurs in glass manufacturing where standards may not be the highest for perfect clarity. It's understandable why vehicle manufacturers want only the parts they engineer to work with their vehicles to be used in the repair of vehicles. Vehicle manufacturers have spent years in research and development to ensure their systems operate correctly. Building and earning the trust of consumers is their priority, and they want to maintain and keep that trust. When a vehicle is new, a vehicle owner wants to keep their vehicle as close to the factory look and feel as they possibly can. The trust of the consumer and we as repair professionals have as to the quality and fit of OE parts is well deserved. OE part quality and fit is very consistent throughout all repair industries. Nobody's perfect but OE part consistency is the gold standard for all aspects of repairs. Another factor for newer vehicles is the fact that it takes the aftermarket industry time to catch up in reverse engineering or attempting to copy the manufacturer's specifications. For the auto glass industry, there is another benefit to OE glass. When calibrations fail, and they will, the consistency in OE windshields most of the time may rule out glass defects as the culprit. This leads the calibration technician into looking at other causes of the failure and wasting a lot of time attempting several calibrations and different tools and invariably may send the vehicle to the dealer. This is why most dealerships will refuse to calibrate a forward-facing camera on an aftermarket windshield. They won't put their name on it or assume the liability of an aftermarket part. With the scrutiny of glass quality, aftermarket glass suppliers stepped up their quality control of the glass they were supplying to the repair industry. A major factor was the brackets or attachments to the windshield that hold the FFC. The tolerance of these FFC mounts are extremely tight as even a degree of difference has proven to be a reason for failure during calibration or a failure of the ADAS features to perform. This is why there is no recommendation to ever glue or reattach any of these brackets to the windshield. The tolerance is too tight and the risk factor is too high. Which glass to use, OE and aftermarket, is a decision that the vehicle owner, shop, and insurer must come to terms with. But keep in mind, when a calibration fails after a windshield has been r and or replaced, there is no code to tell you why, only a technician who must reason through the possible problems creating the failed calibration. The Auto Glass Safety Council, or AGSC, has a solid troubleshooting guide on what to do if a calibration fails. First, don't assume that if it's an aftermarket glass, the windshield part is the problem. Take the time to determine the cause. Did the system operate before the glass was replaced? You won't know unless you performed a pre-scan for DTCs before removing the old windshield. Did the system get damaged during install? 
Some technicians leave the camera hanging during windshield replacement, causing damage to cameras from the shock of being bumped or hit by technicians or tools. This will be evident from a bad camera code that was not present in the pre-scan. Was the glass cleaned in front of the camera? Look for spots and contamination. Was the camera mounted to the glass correctly? This is a very common mistake. Was the connector plugged in correctly? Very common mistake too. Did the camera lens get touched or coating damaged? Never touch the lens. Was the camera defrost damaged and is it plugged in correctly? Is it OE or aftermarket? The aftermarket kind may not be recognized by the vehicle or software being used for the calibration. Are you maintaining proper voltage for the procedure? Are all vehicle prerequisites met? Tire pressure, fuel, passenger, excess cargo. Is the environment correct? Vehicle and targets on level surface, target free from glare of sun and shadows, free of background clutter, confusing the camera, anything moving the target like wind or fans. Software, up to date. Does camera need a programming update? Are you capable of accessing OEM software? Setup, is the target set to the proper height and distance and centered correctly? All of these are factors that may not be associated with the quality of the glass. A rule of thumb is if the calibration fails instant, the software and connections are a good place to start. If it takes time, then the list above is a good start to find the reason for failure, provided it's not the glass itself. The reality is that calibration failures can be for many reasons, from the glass quality to technician error to software not being compatible. The only thing the technician has is a tool saying the calibration failed or a test drive and the vehicle signaling that the calibration failed. The skill of the technician to troubleshoot through all the possibilities is a critical part to doing calibrations. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.